This is her before and after story. Now she's singing a song filled with hope for everyone. Hope for everyone. Yeah, when life's a mess, she doesn't get so I decided scared. to put this ministry together because, you know what, there's so many mixed messages in today's world. Um, people don't know who God even is anymore or if he even exists. And um, because our culture is kind of almost um, tolerated everything except for God these days, that people who really are in a struggle and in a really bad situation don't necessarily know to go to God and that they can find hope and that they can find their answers uh, through Jesus. Lord, never stop calling me, drawing me, pulling me, wanting me back home. I just want people to know, like, when you pray for something, when you ask for something, you really want something. For me, maybe it was music. Maybe I wanted to be the next Pat Benatar or something, you know? And, and I realized now, looking backwards, that um, unanswered prayer is sometimes the best kind of answer you can possibly get. Because I see, um, when I look at that culture, when I look at that lifestyle, and I see how damaging it is, and how many people have lost their lives, lost their dignity, lost so many things because of that lifestyle. I see how God has protected me through even that. You know, He protected me through, through uh, an abusive relationship. He protected me through um, just so many things that could have gone wrong had my prayers been answered. Well, you give me inspiration in the most unusual places. I hear it in the song and I see it on people's faces. I find it in a story. Feel it when the sun comes after the storm. You give me inspiration in the most unusual places. I wish people could crawl inside of my heart and in my head and really get to hear and know the things that I've learned and that I've, I've traveled through um, so they could see that, you know, one day, one day every knee will bow. We, you know, we say that in one of our songs on the album and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. I just really hope that everybody does that here when they have the chance and the, and the, um, you know, the reward is then theirs in heaven. Look to him and let him hold you in the safety of his love. Let his gentle hand wipe away your tears. People who really are in a struggle and in a really bad situation don't necessarily know to go to God and that they can find hope and that they can find their answers uh, through Jesus. And I just want them to know that, you know, what he did for me, he can do for you. Whoa.